You know, I'm not a scientist, and my opponents in the scientific community remind me that all the time. Uh, I'm a lawyer, and I just think through a lot of these issues, especially in the area of science and the philosophical implications of what we're seeing in science. And there's a really dramatic thing for me, which is there's all of these so-called laws that have been established as so-called truth, but, but they seem at odds with each other. Uh, I'll give you a couple of examples. I, I think these are really ripe for philosophical discussion, and yet nobody really wants to go there. Uh, entropy and evolution. You know, I have the second law of ther thermodynamics, which says that everything goes from a state of, of order to disorder over time in a closed system, right? And yet I have evolution, which says that everything's going from the more simple to the more complex over time. So I'm going from order to disorder, as far as the law of physics are concerned, and yet I'm going from simplicity to complexity as far as the laws of, of biology and zoology are concerned. I mean, I see a disconnect there. How can you have your cake and eat it too? Can't we have a philosophical discussion? How about free will versus so-called quantum uncertainty? You know, the whole world of, of quantum mechanics and, and, and mathematical improbability is saying that at the quantum level, th that, that things are totally uncertain, that things can go any direction at any given time, that, that particles are coming in and out of existence, that they can be a particle or a wave, that they can be there or not there all at the same time. There is total free will at the atomic level, the molecular level. Uh, profound studies in this area. And yet, the materialist, naturalist, determinist would now say that because everything in our universe was somehow wound up and set in motion, it's a very deterministic, very matter acting on matter kind of world. There is no such thing as true free will. Everything is in motion. All of the laws, all the causal elements, they're all lined up. There really isn't anything such as true free will. Even down to moral decisions, which are just a product of social evolution, the mem, the, the notion that all of these moral concepts, moral laws are passed from one generation to another. We don't have a choice in the matter. Well, how can I have quantum uncertainty coexist with deterministic will? or deterministic fate, or the lack of free will. Again, I see those at odds. So I, again, just as a lawyer, offer to the scientific community um, uh, the notion of philosophical discussions of these so-called laws, these, these laws, these truths that seem to be at odds with one another. Let's work them out together.